Okay, so good morning again. I'm going to give you a quick, I'll try to make it quick, video of how to make videos and some links to some better videos made by other people about how to make videos. So uh, I'll not be in TweetDeck here because that's not the place we need to be. Um, let's see. Let's. This is the way I make videos. So I use a product called Camtasia. and I use Camtasia for Mac. I've also used the version for Windows. Um, it is a commercial piece of software. There's a 30-day free trial. I highly recommend you try this out sometime during the course. Since it's a 30-day free trial, you might want to wait a couple weeks and then get your 30 days out at the end. But your choice. I highly recommend you purchase it. It's um, actually only about $100 for the Mac version. It's, it's more for the PC version. Um, but I'll also show you a free piece of software. For so this is how I make uh, videos with Camtasia. Um, but I'm not going to show you right now because I'm actually making a video with Camtasia. Um, what I suggest you use is either just grab your um, your iPhone or Android phone, have someone else record you doing a video, or you can get, say, a tripod. I don't think I have a tripod here. Um, I'll move the microphone and try not to be too loud. Um, I have my Snowball microphone that I'm using here to record audio um, mounted on a tripod. Um, you could mount your iPod or something on a tripod and uh, take video of you using a whiteboard, for example, and giving a video or just talking to the camera. Um, another option is um, what I'm doing here is screencasting, which I can use with Camtasia. Um, remember with these screencasting softwares like Screencast, uh, Omatic, like the one I'm showing you here, or Camtasia, which I'm using right now, allows you to record video from the video camera, sound from any microphones you have available, um, sound from the system as well as possible, and it can record what happens on your screen, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, for a quick entry, I recommend Screencast on Automatic because it's just web-based. Um, if you have Java installed on your system, um, it, it just runs straight from the web page. Um, if you don't, it'll tell you. The other option is when you go to start recording, um, it, it'll, it'll bug you. You need to download Java. I haven't done it because I don't want to. Um, or you can download a program that runs. I don't know if this works on Windows, I'll have to try it. But I already installed it on the Mac. So um, let me give you the quick overview. If I'm on the Mac side, I, I run my screencast Omatic program. And it's going to bug you and say, please give us money and get the free Pro version. I, I'm not interested because I use a, a different piece of software that I've paid for. Um, so you can just use the free version. So I click on Use Free Version, and it comes up. Um, and it already found an existing recording, so um, I'll just remove that for now and then try uh, screencast matic comes up here, you'll notice there's a, a menu at the bottom. Uh, I didn't see this when I first run it. And uh, you can start recording. You can choose some options here. It's detecting the microphones right now. And I, I'm going to say I'm going to choose the blue sm snowball microphone. You can do some audio testing. You can say, uh, do you want to record full screen or just a window? You can drag the window around and say what you're recording. Uh, choose your webcam. I already chose my webcam. I have an external HD webcam pro. And then you hit the record button. Um, it's going to hide the webcam. And uh, when you're finished, and then I'm recording. And I record and I record. Hopefully this works because I'm doing dual recording, which might be a little bit weird. I'll hit the done button. And then it comes up and says, hey, you're done. Would you like to publish this? And it gives you three options. You can publish to their service. You can publish to YouTube and give it information. I'll, I'll talk about this more. But you can choose between making your video public or private or unlisted, which is only available in Pro. Um, and you can connect it to your YouTube account, so it does this automatically for you. What I actually recommend from both Camtasia and Screencast Automatic is say, let's pu just publish this straight out to a file. Okay? You can choose the size um, and choose what format. I highly recommend uh, QuickTime MP4 format, not Flash, not GIF, not Windows Media File. Um, this is the most portable format and uh, goes nicely to YouTube. So that's what you do there. So I'm going to close this up. So I don't need to do it right now. That's Screencast Automatic or Screencast Omatic. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point to you is uh, Jonathan at Flipping Physics has some excellent videos about how to make videos and some great videos about flipping. And if you teach physics, some great videos about physics as well. Just lots and lots of videos. Um, I actually was in one of his videos, so you can go and watch me in this video. This is the um, 
nine do's for making engaging flipping videos. I linked this on our tools section in Schoology. Um, he also wrote about the basics and he writes about the don'ts um, and, and a whole bunch of other guides to flipping. Um, I met John when we were at the 2014 uh, FlipCon in Mars, Pennsylvania. Another person I want to mention is, is Keith Hughes or Hip Hughes. Um, Keith teaches history, uh, excellent at it, uploads lots of videos, lots of students get a, uh, benefit from his videos as well as, as the physics ones John do, does. But he has this teaching stuff section in his playlist. If you go to his playlist, you'll see there's teaching stuff. I linked this for you as well already. Um, a whole bunch of videos on how to teach. Um, one of his classic videos I love is five pieces of advice for new teachers. Even if you're not a new teacher, I recommend it. It's only five minutes. This longer video is called I Flip, You Flip, We All Flip, Setting Up a Flip Classroom. It's 24 minutes long, but well worth watching. So I recommend you go in and take a look at what Keith has to say there. Um, once you've got your MP4, then it's just a matter of uploading it to YouTube. Now, let me quickly show you that. And say so you log into YouTube. And of course, if you're not logged into YouTube, you'll need to actually log in. And then YouTube gives you an upload button. So you hit the upload button. I'll do this quickly. Um, let me see if I can find a video to upload. Uh, let's go to movies. Let's go to uh, this one. So it started uploading. I'm going to cancel this uh, before it finishes because I've already uploaded this one. <laughs> you can change the title of it. Uh, you can give it a nice description. Give some tags to it so people can find it easier if you're going to list it public. Um, you don't have to list it public. Your options are public, unlisted, or private. Don't make it private. You can and then share it with me directly, but it gets tricky because you can only share it with so many people. Um, if, if you're kind of shy, I recommend unlisted. And if you list it as unlisted, you'll notice there's a link to it. You can share this link with your friends or your mom or, or your, your students or whoever you want to share it with, or me, and, and then I can see it. It's publicly visible but nobody can find it by accident uh, via Google search or YouTube search. If you're brave and you just want to share your stuff, and we're going to talk a lot about that in this course, hit the public button and go share it. I'm going to cancel this upload now because uh, I've already uploaded this video for my students. And that's pretty well it for making videos, and I want to stop this video because it's getting too long. All right, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, post it inside the course in Schoology. Thanks.